as you've heard, welcome to Splatoon 3. We have been waiting all year to play the newest Splatoon game on the Nintendo Switch. And in this series, we'll be doing so much, playing through the story mode, checking out all the game modes, playing online against opponents, and checking out all the weapons and gear along the way. It is going to be a ton of fun playing what is one of my favorite Nintendo series, and it's gonna be a lot of episodes, lots of content to enjoy in this game. So with that being said, let's get started with Splatoon 3. Whoa. Where are we? Some kind of huge desert, yeah. This is a different site. Definitely not the lively city of Inkopolis, but here we get to choose our style. And as you can see, there are four to start from, two Inklings and two Octolings. So Octolings right off the bat, but I think we'll stick with the good old Inkling. And when it comes to style, I always choose this one I have for the last two games, so I might as well with this one. Um, and then we get like skin tone and stuff, which I'm not gonna go too crazy with, but of course, we gotta do the Zebratastic guys, right? So we'll do the black and white just like that. And for the hair, there's always a lot of cool hair options in Splatoon. And it feels like this game has more than ever. We got the classic hairs, some of the Splatoon 2 ones, and some other options on top of that. With so many to choose from, it's really hard to decide. I do like this new one with the braid, but we could try something like this too, the shorter hairstyle. There's so many options, but I don't wanna take too long, so I think what we'll do is we'll go with this tied up one. I think that looks pretty cool. And eyebrows as well. Well, you get the little slit in the middle. Um, but I think I like this one. There we go. Lasting legwear. And in the uh, Splatfest, I chose, I think these ones looked really cool to me. But um, I think there's a way to change some of them somehow. I'm not really sure. Uh, but yeah, I, I like these ones. They're a little bit baggy, but they're also not entirely. Uh, yeah, I'm happy with this. Let's go for it. Oh, we got our little buddy. What's little buddy? It's a little buddy's turn. He's our new companion in this game and I love him. So we have like a mohawk, lots of crazy hairstyles. We can't really turn the characters too much to see them, but with so many options, I think I'm just gonna go with this little mohawk, the second one. All good? All good. All right, little buddy, let's go play Splatoon 3. Wow. And this place is destroyed. Think you're fresh? Start splatting and we'll see. Before you hit the crater, we'll hit you with the basics. Aim your little small fry buddy, or aim for your little small fry buddy. Tilt the controller to move your reticle. Face forward for the clearest view. Press Y to turn this view anytime. Follow that small fry. Move the left analog stick. So of course, I'm gonna go through the tutorial even though we've played it um, in the Splatfest. We can enter ZL, or use ZL to enter swim form. That's how you swim through ink. Just in case anybody might be watching who's new to Splatoon, now you guys can figure it out with me. Looks like your little buddy found something. Jump down and check it out. Ooh. Look at this be. Ooh, it's the Splattershot Jr. So this will be very, very useful to play the game. What do you know? Press the R to blast those balloons with ink. Tilt the control to aim your reticle. Got it. Right over here. Uh, pop the balloons as you go. You can move around with L. So there we go. Now we can use everything we just learned. You can even swim up walls, use your ink refills while you swim to move, shoot, and blast our way through these stages. You can look left and right and go in between. It's pretty cool. There we go, you can reset the camera with Y, hold the control to, to a, in a comfy position and press Y. We're good for now. Press B to jump even in swim form. And we can go through these little grates, just like that. Especially when we're in swim form. Or actually, only when we're in swim form. Use the R to spray your ink color over that enemy ink. Moving through enemy ink slows you down. Yep, so we definitely want to make it our turf, because that's what this game's all about, is making our turf all over the floor. Uh, and then we just got to bust through these boxes by throwing a bo bomb, which we'll need a lot of ink to do, but we made it work. If you get up there. Um, and then we, this is a new move. We can hold B and release for a squid surge, which is pretty cool. All right, that's enough warming up. Onward to Splatsville, City of Chaos. Whoa. So we're taking the train out of here which is a little bit interesting. I thought that more of the game would take place in this desert area, but it seems like this was only for the opening tutorial, which, I don't know, I was not expecting that. But yeah, we're taking the train back now. Lots of people on here. 
We're taking the train a lot, of course, in Octo Expansion, but <laughs> this is so cute. I can't believe we're playing Splatoon 3. I've been waiting seriously all year for this. It's been one of my most anticipated games and we're, we're just finally here enjoying it. I think we made it. We've embarked at Splatsville. And look at this. The buildings stretch up as high as the eye can see. Every building bustling with life. We're finally here. We're in Splatsville Plates, Splatoon 3. All right, here we go. So look at our group that we have here. We got Shiver. Listen up, it's going down. Repping the Splatlands, we're deep cut. Anarchy Splatcast. Hey, here we go. So we have uh, Shiver, Big Man, and I didn't see their name. Yep, Lip Sync, we Drip Think. Hey, hey, hey. Shiver Fry and Big Man. Fry was the second one. Let's see the current battle stages. Drum roll. Bada -bada 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 Bam. So our current stages under the spillway. Couple more. Inkbot Art Academy. Always keep your cool in battle. When the enemy goes floomp, you gotta go clump. Hey, what she said. I love Big Man. Oh, and we also, of course, have Salmon Run returning. Teamwork is harder than it looks, especially if your teammate is prone to dancing spells. Hey, hey, who could you be talking about? And why was I invited? Uh, breaking news, hot off the press. Oh, you got something, big man? Let's hear it. Oh, no. Uh, this was my story to break. The Great Sapfish is gone. It basically powers the whole city. We need to pack soon, or it slides out. Well, that's not good. Time to conserve, turn off lights, and set the temp to a cool 90 degrees Fahrenheit. That is really hot. That's 32 degrees Celsius, and it is not cool. Cause if you find the zapfish. So we'll need to do that for the third time, save the zapfish. And that's it for now. Ooh, spicy. We're in Spotsville, that's a wrap. Catch you later. All right, so I love our new crew. Welcome to Spotsville. This is the place to see and be seen the hottest spot on the map. If you wanna make it in this town, you gotta be your freshest. And how do you show off your extremely fresh self? Online battles, just hit up the lobby. Seriously, if you start making waves in battles, everyone around here will know your name. Wait, what? Oh hey, it's Captain Cuttlefish. You're new here, I don't mean to alarm you, but that dude is seriously scoping you from the sewer. Whatever, it's fishy, but we'll get to that later. So where were we? Oh right, battles. Time to sink into the ink. If you wanna get right into it, check out the lobby or follow that weirdo down the sewer. Up to you. Go get him, full splat ahead. Well, for right now, we're to be focused fully on the story mode and check out what's going on with uh, Captain Cuttlefish down here. So let's enter. Ready? Oh, we're going. <laughs> I can't wait, oh man, I've been so excited to see more of the Splatoon story and the lore and the background to everything and just what the characters have been up to since the Octo expansion. So we're back out here again, interesting. Hi. Uh, this is awkward. The, the, the uh, Octarians are coming! Again! Oh, uh, hi. Did we do this once before? The old noggin ain't what it used to be. Anyhow, my name's Cuttlefish, senior advisor to the new Squid Peak Splatoon. At your service. That look in your eye. It's the look I've been looking for. The great sapfish that powers Splatsville has been squidnapped. I guess he assumes it's going to be the Octarians? It's the Octarians again. You can pay your bottom sand dollar on it. But why would they after the results of like the Octo expansion? I feel like they were more on our side. We could even play as Noctarian. Or an Octoling at least, I guess not Noctarian. Uh, see the great Zapfish has gone missing before, twice in fact. And those Octo Jerks were behind it both times. I've been keeping an eye on them, even if I'm technically retired. With eyes like these, there ain't much that escapes me. But they still made off with the great Zapfish. Now we've got to get it back, right? So, uh, uh, that was a job offer, kid. The pay is zero, but you might just save the world. You're in, right? 
Right? Well, I gotta save the world. I'm in the world. Of course you are. Starting today, you are Agent 3, the new Squid Beak Splatoon. There was, wasn't there already an Agent 3? Whoa, look at us, we already got the gear on. That was quick. This is your brand new hero suit. It'll help you fight the Octarians. Huh, is there such a thing as something growing in the wash? It's a little baggy on ya. Funny, I don't remember ever washing it. Bah, last Agent 3 was clean as a catfish. So maybe they were a bit bigger? Now, let's go get those Octo Clowns. Ah! I'm counting on you, but, uh, you've already got another agent there with you, huh? Well, I'm fresh out of hero suits, unfortunately. He's so cute. Uh, but it's a salty little scamp, ain't it? It'll do fine. All right then, so we got our little buddy. Now, where was I? All right, let's get those Octo Jerks. I'm counting on you, bucko. All right, so here we are at the crater. Our outfit's looking super clean, and we're good to start our adventure. I can't believe it. All right, let's look for a way into the Octarian base, and keep your eyes open, or ears open, for my nuggets of wisdom. All right, well, let's take a look around. Whoa, take a gander at that. It's a portrait of the new Squidwick Splatoon's captain. Not a bad likeness, huh? So that's the old Agent 3, I think. The captain was Agent 3 before you were Agent 3, Agent 3. Nothing complicated about it. You. You want to know about the captain, right? Or I know, yeah, 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 sort of, maybe, um, but? <laughs> well, I suppose we were a secret squad doing our heroing outside the public eye. How could you know? Very cool. So, but that's Agent 3 who we played as in Splatoon 1. Ah, whoa, whoa, what happened? I'm, I'm furry. I, I don't know. Agent 3, you still with me? You gotta be more careful than that. You eating well these days? Don't go into battle hungry, you hear? So don't touch the fuzzy stuff or I'll become fuzzy. On the fuzzy ooze that's all over the place. Such that stuff and who knows what'll happen. Well now I do. All right, now that'll happen. Floof, instant full body beard. Whether you want it or not. Oh man, that's not good. Okay, now that is one big pile of fuzzy ooze. That big old bubble on top is probably the fuzz ball. I bet if you could pop that, the whole thing would poof. Disappear, but I doubt your ink will do the trick. Yeah, let's worry about that later. For now, uh, keep looking for a way into the Octarian base. Maybe here? Whoa. Okay, well this is gonna be a better look. Oof, this whole place could use a shave or a shower. Whatever cleans up the fuzzy ooze. So it's like I need to go in there. That is definitely our first level. Uh, we'll break up some stuff like that. A little buddy is just swimming around too. Whoa, here we go. There, that kettle ought to take us to him. Shoot the lid with ZR and blow it open. Number one, Octarians in the crater? Yikes, let's go. So it really is Octarians. Can't believe they're doing it for a third time. Figured they'd you know, mix up their strategy or something. Okay, here we are. What is that, Octarians in the crater, yikes. Okay, here we go, it's a real deal, Agent 3. Okay, so let's get to it. Our first level in the Splatoon 3 story mode, and currently I just guess my goal is just to break everything. Take a good look around. If you see something you wanna ink, press the R and fire away. So looks like we already have our special move if we wanted to. Um, remember, you can use R to look around. So let's go ahead and do our super slam. There we go, that was cool. A lot of these boxes don't have much except for the orange ones. Um, if you get discombobulated, you can reset the camera. Oh yeah, let me try. How did I do that again? Wasn't there a... Huh. Oh, like this. There we go, that's so cool. That's a new move, I'm pretty sure. People tell me I forgot to use it in the spot fest, I'm sorry. Uh, there we go. Well, we're getting some more of those little orange dots, which I think are a currency. I can't remember too much, but I'm pretty sure you can spend them in the story mode. Uh, hey, that's a launch pad. Hop on and buckle up. Ooh, look at this one. So I can pop that. Blammo, that was something, wasn't it? Those are called balloon fish, and they go kablooey when you pop them. So let's get up this way if I can. Ooh, I think that's enough. Whoa, whoa, I pressed the wrong button. Gotta let go of B. Boom, got it. Very cool, so we'll be running around just trying to break whatever we can and find whatever along the way. Because if it's anything like the previous Splatoon games, there's going to be uh, secrets all over the place to find. So trying to figure out which way is the best way to go is gonna be pretty complicated, but it looks like over there, there was, ooh, there we go, um, one piece of the zap fish or whatever. So we'll go over there last. Ah, uh, looks like you found a splat switch. Go ahead and spot it and see what happens. I will in just a moment. Trying to explore whatever I can, but there we go, we hit that spot switch, and it lowers the drawbridge. Got it, got it, got it. Looking at a far away crate and dreaming. Maybe your small fry buddy can help. Try pressing R. Oh, really? Uh, 
There we go. You got it, buddy. That's awesome. So our little buddy can really help. Wow, that crate never stood a chance. That was very cool. Um, so heading back over this way, there's a couple of crates to break, but once again, they don't really do much, I don't think. But we can lower this switch. Trying to splat just so in carefully with the radical in the middle of your screen. I am, don't worry. Okay, so there we go. And what is that gonna be? Uh, I found some armor. Slap that on and it'll give you, probably yeah, no, the ability to take extra hits. Um, another job for a small fry buddy. So I don't even have a splat bomb right now. It is just my buddy. Hey, look at you go. Is there anything up there? It doesn't look like it. So I think we're good to head forward. And the music is so familiar, I love it. So yeah, what's going on over here? Is there anything down this way? I really don't think there's gonna be any kind of secrets in this first level, but you never know and I don't wanna miss out much. Here comes another bridge. Uh-oh, and our first enemy. Gah, oh, it's a trooper ahead. It's a real live enemy. Get ready to spot it with the orange in three. Okay, real quick before you engage. When the tough, when the going gets tough, the tough get behind walls. There we go, we got you. I was reading the text and I still was able to spot them. All right. Yeah, that was very splatastic. And I think we are good to move over this way. I think we did everything, yeah. Okay, so look at that. We completed our first level. That's Zapfish. Ink that up that force field until it bursts and then bring it on home. So there we go, our first Zapfish. Very cool. Hooray! <laughs> Little buddy looks like he wants to eat him. See, our first mission has been super successful. We got everything along the way. Well done, Agent 3. You remind me of a young cuttlefish, heroically saving the day. Anyway, the good news is you get a zapfish. They're a source of energy on their, their own. But the better news is that the great zapfish may be up ahead. All right then, so I guess we gotta keep moving. But as you currently can see, we got 500 from putting that level. That's super nice, but it doesn't look like there was any extra collectibles to find. But there's still several levels to find here in, um, I guess, what was this, the crater, I think? What do you like to eat these days, kiddo? Food? Are kids still eating food? I sure hope so. All right, I plum forgot about this old fuzzy ooze. And that blasted fuzzball is just wobbling back and forth, taunting us. Is that your small fry buddy chirping about something? You know, what species is rumored to have a big reaction to power X? Yeah, I mean, he is like a little salmoned guy. Anything worth a shot, right? Try pressing R to power up your little buddy with some power eggs. Whoa, look at you! Uh, whoa, that did something. Try throwing out that fuzzball for 300. Pretty expensive, but we can afford it. Ha ha ha, great work. Look at that, it gobbled up that ooze like it was nothing. That little monster has quite an appetite. Anyway, it cleared the path for you, go on. All right, so we're gonna go this way then. And uh, see, I can't break these on my own, but our buddy can sort of can power up a small fry and do this one for 100. Very cool. Bunch of blasts, little buddy. I agree, I agree. And here's another 100. This is the last one I can afford for right now, though. But that will open up another level for us, so either way, we're good to go. So let's try out number two. Sink into the ink and swim. Let's go for it. Level two. Oh, this is so exciting. I'm already having a ton of fun. I hope you guys are too. Definitely let me know if you've gotten Splatoon 3, if you plan on getting it, all that kind of stuff. Or maybe you're just, you know, chilling back and enjoying this series with me. Uh, sink into the ink and swim. So, yeah, I don't need to cover all the turf. It's not, it's not turf war just yet. Uh, wow, this one already has like a pre-inked pack. Now, now the time to squid after it. Uh, press seal to boop into the ink and start swimming. So yeah, let's just go with that. Um, remember, you can jump with B. I got it, don't worry. So I can send my little buddy out to, oh no, I'm sorry buddy, I didn't mean to throw you off, come back. Come back, no. <laughs> Wait, do I have you? Oh no, you're back, you're back. No, I did it again. I'm so sorry, I'm awful. I didn't mean to do that. Uh, um, those are dash tracks up ahead. Dive into one and you'll go flying. Well, I probably don't wanna do this one, right? No, 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 I thought it was gonna send me off the ad edge. Oh, I wanna go that way though, because there's some extra orbs to get. So. Getting these little orange orbs, whatever they're called, I always forget, um, is going to be really, really important. So, snagging up as few or as many of those as I can possibly muster. And we'll look around, make sure if there's you know anything off the sides. But so far, it looks like I just need to go this main path. Ready, Whee! Is there anything down there? Oh, there was an Octarian, so I can splat them for one more orb. Very cool. I'll get that, that's a checkpoint. I see you down there, can't hide from me. 
Grab some of that, and we're good to go. Whoa, so there was maybe stuff over there? Okay, well first off, I don't know if, will you help? At the least you'll distract them, so that's cool. And then we'll jump over. Got it? Ooh, I wonder what's up there. It looks like there is some extra stuff, so first, no, wait, ah, I didn't mean to fall. <laughs> that's okay. We can get back up, no problem. Maybe it's not worth stressing too much about getting every single orb. Not really sure if it's designed that way, but I just wanted to be able to grab this stuff real quick. Ooh, okay, now we're back down this way. So I think the game does want me to jump over and go up there. The game's really pointing at it. Like, hey, go up here. There we go. Whoa. Uh, oh yeah, now just grab that zapfish and skedaddle. Don't mind if I do. So what's cool about the story mode is it's always fun to explore and defeat all the Octarians and enjoy the story, but it also teaches us deeper lessons about the mechanics of the game. So completing the story mode can really give you an edge when it comes to playing online. So if you are a new player, I do suggest trying it out. Nicely done, Agent 3. But did those Octarians look different? They used to be a little more smooth if enemy sir or if memory serves. Hey, I am one the judge a deadly tentacle creature by its cover. More power to him. Uh but not really. Anyhow, as long as you're spoiling that hero suit, you can stand up to any Octarian, bearded or not. Did you ever, did you even read the label? Here, I'll do it for you. You're wearing the latest in the apocalyptic survival fashion. Avoid enemies to navigate the spotlands in style with your own high-end sensor, directly and only. You gotta learn everything about your gear. That's another battle-tested rule of the battlefield. All right then, so very cool we get our second level done and a bunch more points for it. So, let's talk to you again. You really know what you're doing out there, don't you? Make me look like a genius for recruiting you. I guess so. So, let's head out this way. Um, And I need to get my buddy. First off, yeah, charge you up for 300 points. We can toss you over and unlock an next area. So we're getting somewhere. It looks like there's still a lot more to go, though. Uh, Carefully, or it's a long way down. One false step could send you over the edge. Okay, you wanna jump down there? Make sure you got a safe place to land. I didn't, but I got quite lucky. Uh, let's try this one. All right. And, ooh, we got our next level waiting for us. This is gonna be number three. Box is locked, keys please. So what does that mean? Oh man. Guess we'll find out as we hop in. Whoa. Oh, I like the TVs everywhere. So let's just get the splat right away. I'm gonna, going to, uh, Oh, you wanna get into that that vault? You gotta find a key. Okay, so where's the key at probably in this one? There you go, there it is. Grab that key and unlock the vault. So this is a mechanic from the previous story modes. He's gonna unlock things. Now we have an ink rail. Very cool, hop on it and ride it. Uh, now don't panic, but if you let go ZL, you'll fall to your doom. So hold on tight. There we go. So let's look around this side a little bit before we move forward, because it looks like there's a couple of things to grab. That actually glows. I can see the zap for fish from here. So I think we need to head up this way by hitting the switch. Ooh, whoa, this is a big one. Well, 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 another vault, find a key. So maybe we gotta go over this way? Octocopter spotted, and get up, gotcha. No problem, oh, there's another one, got him too. And there's our key, at least for one of them. Remember, you can slip under and through the grace by pressing ZL. Yep, don't worry, I'm on it. So, oh, that opens this one up. So, not quite the key we need, I think it's a the zap fish, but it's something. It'll help us move through the level. So let's try this one out. The music's been so good so far, which is always a highlight to Splatoon games, in my opinion, is the good music. See, what did I miss there? I feel like I was maybe supposed to do something. Huh. Okay, well, I don't have a key anymore, so there's gotta be something I can do, right? Oh, maybe I gotta... I'm not quite sure. Huh. Because this leads back this way. Where do I go from here? Still can't open that up. So there's gotta be something. And I can't, yeah, I can't spray that. Okay, now I'm a little confused. Oh, I can maybe just, drink won't reach. It's small fry's time to shine. Okay, here we go. You can do it, small fry. There we go. That's the answer I was looking for. And we can spray that one, so. You are still working on that thing. Does it stop when he's done? I'm not really sure. There we go. Got my small fry back. And another key. Can activate that one. Grab this key and hopefully reach. Oh no, um, I couldn't, but 
Maybe I can hop back up there? That one's a bit weird because what if I, ah, guys, I don't think you're gonna be able to hop onto that ink rail from here. Yeah, I thought so. so. Let's get back over and maybe what I could do, yeah, 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 is hop up from here. There we go. Jump from one ink rail to another. There we go. And that'll be the key we're looking for. What do you know? I think it'll open up one and then the other. Excellent. And with that, we can go straight to the end. So we did pretty good with this one. Getting some of those points back so that we can spend them. Continuing through the crater. There's our third zap fish. Yeah. And we got an okay clear time, I think. Of course, I'm not going for any kind of speed run record or anything. Okay, we're back. Keep it up, Agent 3. You're making me proud. I don't want to ruffle your tentacles any further than they've already been ruffled, but those fuzzy Octarians are freaking me out. I think we ought to consider calling some backup. Let me just fire up the old communicator. Check, check. This is Cuttlefish over. Do you copy? Agent 2 here, over. Ooh, so is Agent 1 and 2 still Callie Marie? Wait, Gramps, is that you? Where are you? I always think it is, though. Agent one, this is agent two. Gramps has wandered off again, over. Well, what are we waiting for, agent two? Let's go collect him. Roger that, stay fresh. Did they just hang up on me? Agents these days, am I right? So impatient. I brought you. What was that? Dag nabbit, this old thing busted. Oh well, come on, let's go. What was that? That wasn't just some glitchy transmission. Somebody's looking for you, Captain Cuttlefish. Uh, well, I'll have to be careful of that, but right now, we'll keep moving through all this. What is that thing? Whoa, whoa. You got a pack of cards. You can pick up your cards at the lobby terminal and use them to play table turf battle. Whoa, loot anchor there? You got a good eye. Those things could be hidden anywhere. That was cool. So yeah, that's a new thing. It's like this little card game in Splatoon. I haven't really seen too much about it, but it seems super duper interesting. We're gonna throw our small fry right over there. And I'll have to look all over the place for more of that stuff then. Uh, ooh, I was getting a little nervous there. Okay, so we have another level uh, waiting for us. What are they? Can we stop them? We're gonna find out. Number four. So this has been a blast so far, but already pretty mysterious with some things. Uh, ooh, this place is packed with Arcarians. Take aim and take them out. So what did we just get? I'm not sure. Uh, some kind of suitcase. Did that give me anything different? Oh no, it gave me armor. That's right, that's right. Okay, so anything on the sides real quick. Always gotta check. Doesn't look like it will charge up. Heads of Agent 3, your special gauge is full. Might wanna use it on, um, Make good use of this wall, see if we can get any closer. I am, don't worry. So I like Nord Cuddlefish a little bit so we can focus on playing the game, because he does give a lot of information, but some of it is just stuff we already know, or we can figure out on our own. I'm not one to avoid the story. They really are fuzzy. I can see that for sure. So that's definitely different. They're not normally fuzzy like that. But look at this over here. Thinking of just jumping in there, be careful. Oh, I'm thinking of jumping, all right. Boom, there we go. Nice inking, looks like you activated some kind of pillar. Indeed we did. All right then, so it looks like we're gonna reach a checkpoint for all of that. And what's going on around here? Maybe I could toss Small Fry over to deal with some stuff. Look free and clear ahead. So it looks like they're sneaking up on us, that was the idea. But there is some more armor over that way I gotta be careful of. Or careful if I need to, you know, need to use it. Oh gosh, they are waiting all over the place. Getting a bit inked at the moment, so maybe I should try to get to that armor. Okay, whoa, 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 let's grab that, and then they don't know I'm here, so that's good. I guess we got them all, because the pillars are starting to raise. All right, uh, I need to get on top of that. There we go, there we go. And then I'm just gonna try to, whoop, there we go, that was cool. So what happens if I toss my small fry over? It looks like they will actually damage him a little bit, and that's cool. Good job, small fry. And is there anything else to do around here? Anything extra to grab? Because now if we have packs of cards to look for, I don't know if there'll be any other collectibles within the level, but it doesn't look like it. So yeah, let's go and grab our Zabfish, number four. There we go. So we were pretty speedy with that one. And we had extra armor, so we get bonus 10 of the orbs. That's nice. 
So we're doing really good at this point. We're sort of picking up our productivity. You're on a roll. Nicely done, Agent 3. That's ought to be the last kettle, but have you seen anything else that looks fishy around here? Uh, just about everything. But uh, we get a 600 more, and I'm going to toss fuzzball, or toss small fry to fuzzball. That didn't reach. Um, oh yeah, I need to go down a little bit. Uh, okay. Right over there, did that reach? No, it didn't, I'm sorry. Fuzzball Holy confirmed with my own bulging eyes. Dead center of the crater. I'm trying to reach it. There we go. It costs a thousand this time, but it clears out so much of it. Wow. That was definitely good. Incoming, something's heading this way fast. What is that? No way. No way. There's no way he's here already. Aren't you normally the final boss? <laughs> I finally found you, cuttlefish. My Terrian troops have gone missing. And I know you're behind it. It's DJ Octavio. There she blows, it's a DJ Octavio. Up to your old tricks, eh? Give the great zapfish back. Agent three, this dirty DJ is the headliner of an entire Octarian army. Take him out. Quit spewing nonsense and listen up. I'm about to drop my latest hit. Right on your smug little face. Octo King L3Gs. Oh my gosh. Doc, DJ Octavio is typically our final boss, but here he is being the first boss of Splatoon 3. The stakes really have risen. Incoming punch, shoot it back towards him. Okay, come on, come on. Got it. I'm trying to sort of spray around a little bit so I got some coverage and can move around a little bit more, but. Oh no. We're in the middle of a sandstorm or something here. This is wild. Okay, we got it, we got it. I really don't know what to make of this. It's so cool and exciting now. He's flying over, so I wanna move. Oh, I can't move out of this little uh, platform area. The wind is too strong. He's using a drill punch, quick dodge. I did it, and now I can hit it. It's stuck, now it's time to ink fast. I got it. Okay, what else you got, DJ? Ooh, I can handle that one. If it's not the drill punch, we can just spray it back, back at him. Octavio fell out of his turntable. Quick, turn the tables on him, I got it. That was pretty good. Maybe next time I'll slam on him for some extra damage or something. Think my beats stink, huh? Then you'll love this. Is that vacuum? All right then, checkpoint coming in. Oh, the drill punch, I gotta dodge. Oh, I just barely dodged that. I think I did take some damage. Um, oh, it's trying to suck up my ink, okay. So, whoa, can't do that. So am I just supposed to hang back? The ink back is a real pain in the poor battle. <laughs> okay. Um, I don't know what to do about all that. I guess I just gotta avoid everything. It doesn't look like it can hit any of it back. Here we go, here we go. Come on, come on. That doesn't seem to be enough. Oh, maybe I gotta toss small fry at it or something? I don't know if I missed something that Captain Cuttlefish said is the thing. Cause I, I haven't been able to do any damage to him since. Oh no, that's such a household object would be so dangerous. Think, think, is there some way? Uh, yeah, the small fry, there we go. You got it, buddy. <laughs> He's jamming it up. God, can't vacuum. Whoa, 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 here we go, here we go. Boom, send it right back at him. That was much better, we need to do that one more time though. He's still getting jammed up in there, I hope he's doing okay. All right, I'm ready for it, ready for it. Much better. Small frog got launched back, yes, he's probably gonna start the vacuum again. Keep your fishy junk out of my mech. Oh no, it's back on this side. Whoa, what is that? Okay, he's trying to get me. Wait, wait, wait. Gotcha, that was good. But I might wanna try throwing the small fry out again. Oh, here comes that drill. Got it, got it, got it. Here, toss it over. That's good, that's good. But I can't do anything about that one just yet. Cause he's sucking up the ink that I'm trying to spray onto the drill. That was good. Oh, here he goes, ready, slam. Oh, that must hurt. That was great. Now what? Now you've made me mad. Uh oh, he's really mad. He's slapping around. 
Oh, he's really steamed now. Keep your guard up. So I still can't make it out into the sand. Oh, that's not good. Jump over that thing, whatever that was. And I send it back flying. His slap attack will send out shockwaves. Try to hop over those. Luckily, I did pretty well that time. Oh, small fry. Send that over. Ow, I was, I'm out of ink, I'm out of ink. Oh gosh, gotta manage that. That's not a good idea. Because throwing out the small fry uses that thing. I was not, was not expecting that, to be honest with you. There we go. We're gonna launch, launch a small fry soon enough, but it looks like you're moving over to this side. Trying to cover everything up as much as I can while we're waiting. So here comes this again. So we need to jump over the shockwave and start spraying you as much as I can. We got it. Oh no. So what's that happening next? Okay, small fry, go, go, go. Whoa, ah, I wasn't fast enough, but this might still work. Now, nah, once the fingers get up, doesn't quite work out. Okay, what if I slam that? Oh, that works out really well. Oh, there he is, come on, go, 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 go. Finish him off. I think we did it. Oh, he's busted every time. So sad. Ah, oh, poor DJ. Oh, he's getting sent flying, goodbye. No, no. Oh, that's gotta hurt. You all right? We promise we haven't been doing anything with the Octarians. Ugh, no fair. Your gear is way too strong. You put on a weak show, Octavio. Your set list is getting old. Or maybe it's just you. Seriously, that was too easy. It's like you weren't even using the great Zapfish's power. Mute it, fool. I don't steal the Zapfish. I didn't steal the Zapfish this time. What? You didn't? But if it wasn't you, then who was it? Uh, uh what? What the what? Fuzzy ooze! Oh no! DJ! Agent three, help me! No! What was that? So whatever this oozes has a mind of its own. Hello? Uh, I guess they're here too. That was sort of out of nowhere. I'm so confused. Where are we going? Where are we gonna land? Nintendo presents. Whoa. Splatoon 3. Quite the change in atmosphere. It's all snowy around here. This is crazy. And it looks like we're not alone. Is that Agent 1 and 2 I see in the distance? It might just be. So, so much has happened here in the first episode of our story mode. We were able to meet up with Captain Cuttlefish, learn the ropes, take on DJ Octavio, and fall down to wherever we are now. We'll figure more out about where we are and what we're gonna be doing in the next episode of Splatoon 3. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.